Hey, first one, I apologize for having to uh, put through this in the garage, but one, it helps with the sound, and two, I don't want uh, any little kids around when I tell this story so as I don't embarrass them or teach them too much at an early age or things that they might want to try. But raising a bunch of boys by myself, six of them, uh, has really been quite a learning curve to come up. And at different times, you know, there's been the things that they have done that have absolutely uh, been side-splittingly funny. And this first one is one that took place when Phineas was, I think, uh, about 15 years old or thereabouts. And Spoda was, I think, in the neighborhood of 11 or 12. I give those names, Phineas and Spoda, because those were the names that uh, they had for each other when they were little, and little nicknames, and um, I don't want to embarrass them too bad right now, especially Phineas, because this one uh, happens to concern him the most. But Spoda came to me one day, and uh, he goes, Mom, he goes, I want to tell you about something that uh, Phineas did. I said, okay. And he talks about being over at his dad's and then getting the Hoover vacuum cleaner out in the bedroom. And um, somehow they got the bright idea, or at least Phineas did, that uh, he could get a BJ from uh, the Hoover vacuum cleaner. And this might be a cool thing to do. So he sticks it in there and has Spo to turn it on. And but the way Spoda tells it, the next thing you know, you hear, <laughs> which was Phineas's little balls just a clapping against the side of that uh, Hoover vacuum cleaner, and uh, he starts screaming because it's it, he can't get it off, and it hurts. So he screams for Spoda to turn it off, and Spoda turns it off for him, and uh, he readjusts it, thinking this is gonna be okay. Puts it back on there again all over again screaming in pain it won't go it, you can't get it off Spud in the meantime is rolling on the floor laughing at him and can't turn it off because he's so he's uh, so lost in uh, uh, watching uh, the this uh, scenario take place in front of him of uh, Phineas's uh, balls clapping up against the side of the thing and the noise it was making. It was just hilarious. <laughs> anyway, and I thought that the, the worst I was ever going to have to handle was trying to give the boys some rubbers and telling them what to do with them when they uh, got of a certain age, maybe around 13 or so. But little did I know of the things that I had to look forward to. And so... Um, I decided that I would just have a little bit more fun with the, the Phineas and Spoda story, Phineas and the Hoover. So I had this old Electrolux that I'd gotten a long time before that still kind of worked, but I kept it around. It was the tank type. So I put a mop head wig on it, some Fredericks of Hollywood clothing that my mom had given me. My mom would be another story that I'll tell you in another video. Those are some funny ones. And uh, so if you can envision this uh, Electrolux with a mop head with some cut out eyes and eyelashes and big lips and the uh, Fredericks of Hollywood clothing on it, take this thing and I'll stick it in Nate's bed. Whoops, I said a name, didn't I? Ouch. <laughs> oh well. Phineas's bed <laughs> and anyhow covered it up and waited for him to come home and got a big laugh when I hear all the screams and stuff when he opens his covers up to get in bed and sees the Lady Electrolux laying there waiting for him. Well I hope you enjoyed this story and if you would like stay tuned for some of my other videos and I have a lot more little exploits of raising six sons. Thanks.